How to change default contact storage location in iPhone. Hi everyone, welcome back. Here's a video tutorial on how to change default contact storage location in iPhone. For this video, we will be using Google Contacts. So one thing you must have is a Google account. And in order for us to do that, all you have to do is sign up for a Gmail. And that's what we're gonna use. Now, once you have the Gmail account, we're gonna have to go to our settings. And in settings, you have to scroll down and look for mail. And on mail, look for accounts, tap on it, and then tap add account. Now, just select Google on the choices, and then log in with your Gmail and password. So I'm going to log in right now. Once you have successfully logged in, just scroll down and tap allow. And on this page, you should make sure that contacts is on. You can just tap on save here and then the account has been added. I added this Gmail, but in order for us to easily identify this, you can change the description to Gmail contacts. Tap done. And when you go back, as you can see, it was successfully changed to Gmail contacts. Still on settings, the next thing we have to do is look for contacts. So let's go back, tap contacts, and then on this page, you have to tap default account. Now you should see Gmail contacts. It's the Gmail account we added earlier. And what happens next is if you add a phone number to your contact, let's say, Let's try to add this one. Tap add number, create new contact. Let's say sample two, tap done. As you can see, if we're gonna check my Gmail contacts right now, I only have this one contact here, which is sample. And then if I add sample two, which I did, and refresh this Google contacts, you should see that the contact I added was successfully added on my Gmail contacts as well, or Google contacts as well. Now, the same goes for when you add something on your Google contacts. Let's say we tap on the plus icon here, tap create contact, and then let's see sample three. And just tap done. And you can add more information if you want. But once you're done, just tap save. And now that we have created this sample three contact, if you go to your contacts on iPhone and look for that, you will find it in here. So they're basically in sync, but the default storage of your iPhone contacts will now be Google contacts instead of iCloud. And that concludes our video for today. If you found this video helpful, Feel free to let us know in the comments below, like this video, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.